Hello there viewers, before we start today, if you missed the two hour transfer window special, go and watch that first, it is the top line of the description today, and um, yeah, I say, I say go watch it first, it's two hours long, maybe save it for later, maybe maybe you listen to it, so not, do it in your own time. Point is, we did an entire summer, and I worry that you may have missed it. For those that are here for today, run the intro. Folks, new episode 41 of Thames FC, the adventure from non-league to Premier League to beyond. Although so far, it's just non-league to non-league. It's not as catchy a title, if I'm honest. Money-wise, you can see that since we took over in 2017, it has, um, it's not gone up. I mean, that's... It's not gone up, gone down quite considerably. Uh, 538 is the number now. I don't know. I don't know how this gets better. And of course, uh, if you've watched the, the transfer window episode, you'll know that we're going to do a little recap now on players we've brought in, players that have left. There's one major leaving, and there's quite a few exciting incomings. Sorry, before we do all of that, we're back in the, the Bostick League Premier Division. We're back in the South bit. So welcome back, me. It's I'm delighted. It's nice to be home in many ways. Uh, we've already played five league games this season. Uh, a couple were in the two-hour live stream. And we've got seven points. We are the most average team in the... It's annoying me again already. Okay, sorry, folks. Let's get to this bit then. Uh, Alaphobi Coca is the main man. Uh, Nigel Black's left. Anthony Wells, Spencer Hassani and Perry Cousins are also gone. But Coca has left us and gone to Greenwich. He wanted 325 up towards, towards £500 pounds a week. We can offer him that. So he's had to leave. Uh, after a couple of good years with me, it's a shame. Last year, he scored a couple of goals. Got a few assists to his name as well, but now has to leave us, and it's all a big shame. He would have he would have been our best defender by a mile. So see you later, Alaphobi. Oh, Afolabi, maybe Afolabi. What? Oh, he's too late. He's gone. That's probably why he's left. Which means that some of the ins have taken place. Marvin, George, Charlie, Graham, and Leighton. Let's talk you through them individually. Uh, we'll start with the loan signing actually of Graham Nolan from Leighton Orient. He's going to play in behind our two front men. Uh, we've changed system a little bit. I'll run you through that in just a moment. But yeah, Graham Nolan comes in from Leighton Orient. Hasn't played this season because he got injured in a preseason game. Uh, but hopefully you'll see him today. He's certainly going to be starting for me. So we'll see him in action at last. I think he's uh, he's decent for this division. Very deep and fast for this. He's, he's good. Now this is Marvin uh, Ekp. That, uh, oh, I've tried. Egg potato. Oh, Marvin. We should just go with Marvin. I'll, I'll try and learn it. We'll see how many episodes until we nickname him. Uh, decent head and marking tackling. Decent physicals as well. Not a starter, but someone that I can have on the bench if absolutely necessary to bring in. And uh, yeah, fine. Just fine. In terms of defenders that are more likely to start, though, George Heaven is more likely to be the man to replace Coca. Uh, again, heading, marking, tackling, pretty decent. Physically, pretty good, too. Very good decision-making. Uh, he's got a little bit more potential about him as well. Uh, a little bit younger, too. So, he can grow into this role, hopefully. At the back, uh, he's been at Haverhill Borough, started his career at Leicester City, and uh, now joins us and has played all five games so far. And he's not doing very well, it seems, based on the average rating. I don't want to... Mm. Oh dear, Charlie Peel. Now, if you watch the uh, if you watch the, the live stream, you'll definitely know about Charlie Peel. As I made people leave hashtag Peel at the end of the episode. Uh, finishing first touch off the ball, composure and decent acceleration and pace. Ten on either one. Uh, it means he'll be a very good backup striker. Liam Kinnear is getting so he's falling by the wayside. So we needed someone similar to him, but not quite him. And uh, so far, Charlie Peel's coming. He's got one goal in the, in his season so far. Uh, previously of Kessering as well, and as a region. So it's always nice to have a new face around the place. And then Leighton Smith. Uh, if anything happens to Michael Emery or Elliot. Taylor, he is going to be the man to come in. Uh, it's got quite a good potential as well, so who knows, if one of those keepers moves on, hopefully you'll be able to step into that second uh, goalkeeper spot. And that is pretty much all we've done. It's pretty underwhelming, isn't it? But when everyone's fit and ready, this is what we're going to be playing uh, this season. We're a little bit early in terms of when our game is. I think our game is it's not until the 20th. I've, 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 I've come too early. Nah, I'll just leave that there. Taylor Campbell, Heaven and Heath, which I think sounds great, uh, by the way. H&H. &H. Uh, it's, like, it's like Steps Reunited. Just H. That's all that's all I'm getting at. Connolly, uh, then we've got Hadland Squires and uh, uh, Howard in the centre. Nolan in behind Smith and Danan, who I think could form a quite good partnership. So far, Liam Danan, three goals for him this season. We want to see the pair of them, though, strike off a perfect partnership. Danan and Smith. So, Danan Smith sounds like sort of a 90s R&B superstar, I feel like. It's not a million miles in my mind from Craig David, but it, I, I don't know why I'm saying it. Now I'm deciding whether... Craig David was really R&B. I guess he kind of was. I was listening to the Spice Girls. So I don't know why I'm trying to act like I know. 
And as mentioned then, we've played a few games so far this season. Two wins, two defeats, had a draw in there. Uh, and today we're going to play Wingate and Finchley, which is only one team, despite having two names. But it'll feel like a double, it'll feel like two games, won't it? It'll feel like, it'll feel like two games. Uh, also, because we are back in the same tier of football, uh, we will try and keep the episodes slightly closer together uh, and, and get through it a little bit quicker. You've seen it before. I don't want to bore you with it again. But at the same time, if, if it's quite an exciting good season, then I'll try and show you as much as possible. There could be a cup run in there. Who knows? But just be aware that we'll probably have sort of six episodes this season rather than the eight to ten which is what is what we normally have is what we normally do i mean come on talk use your mouth it's just nice to see some of the old boys back you know it's just nice to see them again season preview we were predicted to finish 18th so <sighs> great i mean that's a center back for thetford he's not the quickest but he's good and he doesn't even want to join me story the story of this save is he doesn't really want to join me that that's what it could be called we've called it thames fc as like a working title if we wanted to change it that, that that's literally what i'd go with probably he doesn't want to join me also the observant among you will notice these have these have, these are these are off they're gone they're um they've been replaced by these yeah it's just a big moment really i think these are now the third headphones we've seen um so Enjoy them. Most people can't work out why I actually wear them. It's to hear things. So, thought that, just, never thought I'd have to explain it, to be honest. Why does he wear headphones? Why do you wear clothes? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. With this system, then, it still allows us to play a 4-4-2 if required. We can change it around. We can even play diamonds now. We've got quite a few defensive midfielders. Uh, Giorgio Sullivan, Andrade's there as well. We can even drop Howard into a deep line playmaker role in that position. Uh, as I say, we can play this 4-4-2. We've still got Ian Thompson. We've still got Tom Gillette. If you want to switch it back, we can do, but I just think a more centralised formation. We'll start the season with this and we'll see how we get on. If we find we need to change it a little bit, we can do. I'm also wondering if we'll switch at some point to uh, to a 4-2-3-1, playing two wider players alongside Nolan with one striker up top and two in the centre. It's possible. I'm saying now it's possible. We're playing fluid, uh, retaining possession, short passing, whips crosses, hopefully from the full backs with, 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 with both of them actually looking for the overlap. We'll see how it works. Campbell and Connolly, not attacking fullbacks, but both able to do it. So we're going to try it so far this season. They're figuring it out. They're just figuring it out. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. I will train another tactic, I think, though. Right, then. Here we go, then. At home against Wingate and Finchley. And uh, we've been here before, viewers. We're back in the south. How will we get on? I know it's Bournemouth aren't here. Clearly, they're not south enough. It's a, it's a corner immediately to Wingate and Finchley. And uh, they find Oliver on the edge. Now, this highlight is going particularly slowly, but we'll sort of slow motion it for now. As Smith gets it, right, we've got a little moment here to speed it up a little bit. As Smith plays forward, Danan. And now, options in the middle. Oh, Liam Danan. If you just get your head up there, mate, we're in. And now they're forward and through. And Oliver, and we look at us. We attacked with every man possible. And Oliver brings it forward. Samuel, he's blazed it over, thank goodness. Right, as we get towards 10 minutes, it's been a pretty uninspiring first 10 minutes do we go attacking from the off i'm trying to get these fullbacks pushed on and attacking if anyone watched the arsenal save that i did previously you'll know that i tried that to quite good effect so we're, we're trying it a little bit here with thames ah it's another corner these are all the highlights we've got so far brown puts it in howard gets it away and oliver again who's been every part of this series so this series this episode it's deflected sort of and now they've got a free man over if he gets a shot in now campbell with some great defending forward to smith if you can play forward danan he can danan on the last man can he get through he can liam Dan oh for the god liam danan <sighs> that's the story of liam danan he gets in great positions and just messes it up uh, you'll notice we don't have peter praggers uh it was available on a free transfer i then end up going to tns in wales which i will honestly say now is probably a step up i think they're in europe so peter praggers you mean you have one season with Thames, you're in europe that's a signal to any player that wants to join which is weird because nobody does all right so it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight we deserve to win this match and let's go do it i don't believe it but i like the cut of his jib i say that the cut of his jib i've said it it's my jib I've jibbed him up. Let's start this season off slightly better. Three wins, two defeats, and a draw. Let's not be average. Let's be better than average. If we draw this, then, I mean, everyone's going to be saying, oh, they're so average again, and I can't handle that. I mean, they're messing this up big time. Squires down to Smith. Is he on side? Oh, if, that's, if that is a real goal. Squires has headed it down. Smith's got in there and just po poked it home somehow. I mean, this ball out here from, uh, is it Miles? I think Miles does do the clearance. It's not, that's not good viewers. Don't advise that at all. And he plays Smith on side. The ginger assassin, assassin. Assassins once again. Assassins. Assassinates the words, but assassinates. He got proper assassins there, didn't he? God, do me. Right, Howard picks it up quite deep. Lofts one forward. Nolan's touches. 
well, not particularly good. And, um, yeah, he goes in now for a challenge. And we do win it back, though. Liam Danan. Now, Smith's quite pacey, and he, he makes his way forward. If he can find a ball to his left-hand side, tries to knock it on, doesn't quite work. And then a massive lumped ball over the top from Miles. He's learned his lesson. Oliver's through on goal. Elliot Taylor with a good save. Michael Emery, by the way, still at the club. Don't, don't panic. Still here. Still here. Corner's played in. Nolan heads clear out to Oliver, who we've not seen too much of in the second half. But they're working it quite nicely. Hallahan with a big tackle. Gets it out just about. And then the ball across the face of goal isn't particularly good. 53 minutes gone. And we're in control, sort of. Actually, speaking of that, do I want to go to a more controlled style? We are playing with same possession. We're keeping the ball short of passing. I mean, we could, we could probably do this. We're not necessarily looking for the overlap every single time. We're just keeping it nicely fluid as well, remember? So, lots of phases of play. As uh, Hallahan's corner kick is played in. Finds Denan on the edge. Ball down to Howard. Oh, it's cleared. Now, Conley's going to have to deal with this. And uh, deal with it, he... Does. Plays it back to Taylor, who plays it forward. Not particularly well, though. And now Butterfield can bring it forward. Connolly's going to have to get out to him. The ball inside is good. Penal with a shot on goal. Oh, just wide. Wingate and Finchley there. Looking um, looking dangerous. Now, do we make a change at this point? Liam Danan is having an indifferent game. Charlie Peel is going to come on uh, as the poacher. We've got sort of a big man, little man situation. Although we've said it before, Smith's not even that big. He is a target man, though. As Campbell's throw in. Uh, deep in our half. I don't really like throwing deep in our half. They unnerve me. But a great ball forward. And now Charlie Peel. Oh, he's been run off it. Flipping heck. Is he the real Peel? That's what we've got to find out. Five minutes of normal time left to go. And um, it's them in possession. Out to Butterfield, who seems to be causing problems from that right-hand side so far in the game. Moore finds him again. If the ball forward's good, we could be in trouble. But Connolly snatches it off him. And then Miles plays a through ball to Hamilton. And they've got a man over. If they find him, it's probably going to be a goal. Locks it down. Moore puts it in. And Taylor can't keep it out. And it's 1-1. One, one, and we are going to be the most average. Oh, not again. I mean, Connolly is on the floor for a lot of that. I mean, I mean, in this situation here, they should always score. And they do. The ball's played back across. Potts decides not to shoot. Knocks it down for more. He finishes it off calmly. It's 1-1. One, one. Shouldn't have made any changes, should I? Should have just kept it as it was. It was fine. Everyone was happy. Uh, Brennan Harris, who's one of our youngsters, he's going to come in. Uh, he's been a regen. We've been at the club for a couple of years. We've not seen too much of him. And, I mean, he might. He, like, he could be a superstar. We don't, we don't know. Although we're pretty sure he won't be. Time's ticking away then. And it looks as if the first game you at least see in the series. I mean, if you watched yesterday, we played a couple of games. Um... But, yeah, not not our best result ever with the ball. I mean, that's not good. We're in 16th position, but it's very tight. I mean, it all could change very, very quickly if we get used to the system, used to the formation. Of course, I've been playing a lot of games now uh, until you next see me. I mean, just, just, just think about it. Are you pleased with throwing away a 1-0 lead, Ben? Are you pleased? No, you're not. Weirdly, Brett Squires is absolutely loving it. Everyone else, fuming. <sighs> I mean, I've been, have I messed it up or have I just got the wrong group of players here? Maybe I need more Brett Squires. If we had 11 Brett Squires, we'd have... Wait, well, might have won 11 1. Well, then, viewers, that's going to bring us to the end today. And uh, despite the new additions, despite the new system, despite the terrible finances, not much has changed here. Two wins, two draws, two defeats. See you tomorrow. This could be a long old season. And as I said at the start of the video, folks, if you want to see the two-hour transfer special, there's a link in the top line of the description. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to everyone on Patreon. I love you.